Loudoun County's top prosecutor is clearing things up. Community members are pretty concerned after hearing about this memo from her office that said she was no longer prosecuting certain crimes. So our Matthew Torres sat down for a one on one interview with the Commonwealth attorney there who says she wants her attorneys to focus on more serious crimes, but that doesn't mean that people are going to get out scot free. Well, the attorneys come in and give us mitigation. Tonight, the Commonwealth's attorney for Loudoun County responding to confusion over this memo she sent in December. Buda Biberai says by next week, she wanted her office to prioritize violent and serious crimes more than low-level offenses, including traffic infractions, petty larceny, trespass, underage possession of alcohol, and hit and run if there is only damage to property. We don't want to ever take our resources from the serious crimes, rapes, robberies, and mayhem, to direct them to a traffic matter. That's just not fair. These other cases, they're still going to be prosecuted. So I don't want anybody to think that they're not being prosecuted. It's just that the officer would be the primary proponent of the facts to the court. In the memo, Biberai says these types of charges will be deferred to the courts and law enforcement instead, a practice she says is already happening. What we're talking about is things that have already existed, but now what we want to do is we want to formalize the expectations. Citing more trials and more body cam footage and other recordings in cases, the office says it's been inundated and lacks proper time to prosecute every infraction. But county officials, including Board of Supervisors Chair Phyllis Randall, who doesn't have jurisdiction over the Commonwealth's attorney, questions the reasoning. Since she has taken office, we have in, in, increased the positions in her office by 61 percent. And so it's not a matter of her not having resources. I don't know if it's a retainment issue or a hiring issue, but there is clearly a management issue in her office that, again, she's never been fully staffed since she's been here. Yes, I have vacancies, but they're going to be filled. Biberai says the execution of this memo is on hold since it was meant to start a conversation, but plans to meet with law enforcement agencies. She stresses, regardless of the crime, it's no open season for anyone. But you still will be before the court and you will be held accountable. Matthew Torres, WUSA 9. Now, WUSA 9 reached out to the Loudoun County Sheriff. He says he only just found out about the memo and he is disappointed. He went on to tell us we are doing everything in our power to support our deputies through this transition and we'll make sure every effort to ensure that we continue to partner with the community.